Arizona Morning is back. All right, I want to introduce uh, Kristen Keogh to Haley Gibbons. Yes. Yes. I Hi. like her already yes. because she brought us food. <laughs> <laughs> As temperatures drop, you know, there's no better way to uh, warm them up with a bowl of soup. And Haley is, uh, you know, she's an expert on all of these things. She makes really good soup. And good, everything you make is good, really, Haley. Uh, but Thank you. this is perfect for this time of year, right? It is. Okay. It is. I mean, it's been chilly, and nothing gives me more comfort than a nice bowl of soup. Yes, so me too. I'm going to teach you how to do French onion soup today. And a lot of people are scared of French onion soup yeah. because it takes a long time, and it's um, the onions tend to burn. Yeah, and it's easy to mess up. It yeah. is easy to mess up. So I've got some foolproof methods to show you that are quick and fast. Okay. You can get a bowl on the table in 30 minutes. Okay, let's do it. First thing we're going to do is burn... Um, <laughs> we're going to burn the onions. That's what we're going to do. No. We're going to melt some butter. And then, Rick, if you'd pour the onions in. All these onions all in All those here? onions in. Okay. It is. How many onions would you say that is? That's um, five medium onions. Okay. And okay. the key is. These are white onions, right? White or yellow. Oh, okay. White or yellow. And then um, thinly sliced is the key. Okay. And we're just. Oh, that's okay. Out. I'm it crying. is a lot of onions. <laughs> because the onions. Get it. Okay, go on. And one of the um, shortcut tips here mm -hmm. is to caramelize the onions to get like this right here. So then after you do this, it becomes this. It will after we add some Coke. Oh, so would you kidding. like to open, open that up and that entire can's going to go in. Are you kidding me? You're putting Coca-Cola in here. So normally to caramelize these onions, it would take over an hour. Right. But because we're using this Coke, yeah. we're on high heat. One, you can't burn the onions, so that makes it um, user-friendly. Okay. But then two, it'll take about 10 minutes for this to cook down to become this. 10 uh, to 15 minutes. Okay. And how long would it normally take if you looked at the whole? Over an hour. Well, okay. Over an hour, okay. and it could possibly burn and taste bitter. Okay. Too. So this is a foolproof method. And I just want you to know we're down to two minutes. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to use the next step is using beef consomme, which is a beef stock that's already been reduced and concentrated to get really robust flavor. Now pour it in here. So we're going to pour it in here. Consomme, consomme mucho. And we've got three cans of that. Okay. Oh, three cans. Yes. I'm running Get behind here. Right? You are. Okay. <laughs> you want help? Notice how I do it so I don't spill it on anything. Okay. And so while and you're doing that. Consume. Now yes. these onions here are ready. Yeah. And so we're going to add a little bit of flour to them. Okay. Ooh, okay. And then that's going to just um, thicken it up just slightly. Just bring her all flour. Huh? Just a little bit of flour. Okay. And then we're going to use um, salt and pepper. And again, these recipes are on my website. And that's um, helpfromhaley.com, and you can get the exact measurements. And all the ingredients seem to be everyday items that are easy Just to right find. out of your cupboard. Helpfromhaley.com, okay. And then this here, okay. we're going to um, flavor our stock with bay leaf and fresh thyme. Okay. Right in there. Cool. And then oh, this so is going to go in here and simmer it again for about another 10 minutes, and you have... French onion soup ready to go. You make it sound so Voila. Amazing, Haley. So, no, right over here. Yeah, sometimes they serve it with melted cheese. That's right. That's the best part. Yeah. And here we go. Okay. That looks delicious. Hey, you are amazing. And the bread, so what do you use? The bread right here is a um, crusty baguette, and it's right there. And the cheese typically that you use is a Guerrero cheese, which is the shredded one right okay. there. Okay. And I like to put a little bit of slice of the Swiss cheese and top it with the Guerrero. Okay. And then melt it. it makes it real cool. And then as you can see, Haley has tons of just delicious looking items. That's and great. we have all the information for how you can get to her blog on my Fox Phoenix. Com. Haley, thank you so much. Hey, you got an event coming up, too, you said, Don. I do. On November 30th, mm -hmm. I'm uh, pairing up with Ruby May Jewelry at um, Coco Milano's, and we're going to be serving for dinner so, uh, some of these soups. Okay, wonderful. Definitely right. check out the blog. If and you don't remember Haley's website, you go at our website. We get you over there. With no problem. Thank, thank cool. you. Thank we're going to eat some of this. And then, I yes. hope so. Coming up, we're going to check in with Corey and, again, tell you how you can get some free sun tickets.